external anatomy stuff, and then there's the internal stuff. So we'll kind of start with the external. So yeah, the first thing, let's maybe just orient ourselves to like what side is which here. So that this is the top of the squid up here. And so that's dorsal. And so that makes all of this, the top half, what, what is this part of the squid? Mantle. It's, it's mantle, right. So this down here is all ventral then. Yes. So what is, I mean, it's the arms and the tentacles, but what do we call? The muscular foot. It's the foot. And so the foot of the squid is modified as arms and tentacles. So you remember which is which? And so the two longer ones are which? The Those are the tentacles and there's eight arms. Mm -hmm. So I, I'm probably going out of order here, but okay. if somebody has, who has gloves on? Uh, you have gloves. So pull the, arm, the arms open for me, not like to where you busted or anything, but so everybody, you can see the beak inside of there. Sorry, if you, yeah. you see that this is the beak. In here. Yeah, we can kind of move around for a bit. Here's the beak in here. That's its beak. And if we were to open the beak, which we're not going to be able to do, that's where you find the radula inside that. So it's like, you know, radula surrounded by beak, surrounded by arms and tentacles there. Mm -hmm. Is this inside there? So. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's not super easy to see just because you have to hold all the arms open. I mean, we have to like, like yank them all out, which I don't want to do. To, to actually really expose it. No, I was just too sure I can actually see And this is yours also, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay, so or, uh, as soon as I'm done, I'll get some back. You can take your scissors also if you want. Anymore. Okay, that, that's good. And then I think the eye they also mentioned here. Yeah. So this is the eye. I notice it's kind of covered by tissue here, but there's a nice large eye. And then there's another one over here also. Yeah, you're kind of poking it. But, <laughs> but same thing on the other side. So that's its eye. Its eyes. And so, okay. Again, notice this was dorsal, this was ventral. So which side did we cut open here? Which side of this is, what is this side of the squid? Is it like the funnel? This is the posterior side. How do we know? Because this is the funnel right here and the funnel is on the posterior side. So if I can stick the probe through it, you can kind of see it's going through the funnel. Uh -huh. Remember how it works? So we cut open the mantle, right? And so I think it asks for the collar. The yeah. collar is just the base of the mantle. So I mean, we cut it open, but again, normally that just forms a ring around the mantle. Water enters up into the mantle cavity, and then it pinches off its collar. And so then the only way water can get out is shooting through this funnel here. And so that then projects the, the squid in whichever direction it, you know, if the funnel points that way, the squid will go this way after it launches, shoots its water out. So, right? Did y'all see it? Yeah. What's that? I, poking through here. So that's the funnel. So that's on the posterior side of the squid. So what's on the anterior side of the squid? The pen is. And so I scooch this over. You can see the base of the pen here. Do you see what I'm pointing at? I don't know if we can touch this and hold this for me again. Right here. This is the base of the pen. Now that's what this is. It kind of got plucked out, but it runs along the anterior side of the entire squid on, on this anterior surface. And so again, this is the remnant of the shell. So it's not really a shell anymore. It's not really providing like Protection as much as it is like a support, um, like a vertebral column with a backbone. It's not the same thing as our backbone, obviously. But again, that's this that, like I said, kind of got shifted over from back there. It's, it's got disconnected. Same thing. That's the pen. Okay. So I think what is next? I mean, the internal stuff now. So, so what does it ask for? This gonads, I think, is first. Gills. Okay, so before we get the gills, so gonads, gonads is all up here. So filling in all of the dorsal part of the squid, this is all gonad. Now, a lot of the ones that we dissected, you could tell were females because there was very obviously the eggs. This one, I don't know, I don't see obvious eggs. So that doesn't make it automatically a male. It could be a, a just an undeveloped female with not no eggs. So that's why we're not asking you to identify, you know, ovaries or testes, just know it as gonad. It fills in this entire cup, kind of upper triangle of the mantle here. That's all gonad. The gills. And then the gills stick off to the side here. So there's one gill here and there's the other gill here. This one. Ink sac. So the gills. So the ink sac kind of looks like the gills, but running down the middle, and it's got this darker, obvious kind of inky appearance. That's the ink sac. What else? What else? And the oh yeah, the stellate ganglion. And so the stellate ganglion again. I might need to use your hands again. <laughs> so if you want to pull that over for me. This right here, it kind of looks like connective tissue, but it's not connective tissue, it's nervous tissue. That's the stellate ganglion. And there's actually two of them. If you push it the other way, so you guys can see it on that side. Can you hold Right, this one right here, there's stellate ganglion. And so it's almost like two extra little mini brains for the squid, it's just nervous tissue. And so again, they have a lot of nervous tissue and that's two patches of it there, so. Was that everything? Yeah, that was the last thing. Make sure we don't miss anything, so. All right. Okay.